Welcome to Genetic Counseling Awareness Channel with Katie Lee. All the best resources you'll ever need at Genetic Counseling Awareness Channel. Hi everyone, it's me, Katie Lee Hornberger, Certified Genetic Counselor. Welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a quick one because today I'm giving you a demo of my newest digital download and my first digital download for Genetic Counseling Hopefuls. I've been advising potential genetic counseling students for years on their application materials, and I've been creating content for my YouTube channel for about a year and a half now. I thought it was time to summarize all of that content and make a really helpful bird's eye view guide to the genetic counseling application process. So that's what we're talking about today. Whether you're somebody who is just trying to explore whether genetic counseling and genetic counseling grad school might be a good next step for you, or you're somebody who's a little bit further into the process and is preparing your application materials, gathering the experiences you need, this guide could be a really helpful tool to stay organizing and to get tips for how to improve different parts of your application and your experiences. The bird's eye view guide to the genetic counseling application process can be used on a computer, on a tablet, on your phone, or you can even print it and use it, but I think it's best used on a tablet. You can find my bird's eye view guide to the genetic counseling application process on my website, katieleecgc.com. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to provide a quick demo of what you can find in the guide and how it might be able to help you. I just opened up my bird's eye view genetic counseling program application guide here. And I just want to give you a little bit of an idea of what's included. So there's a little bit of a letter explaining the process, a table of contents. You've got an explanation of how the application cycles work. And the cool thing about this is every time you see something underlined, that is a link. Some of the links are linked within this 15 pages just to help you stay organized. And others are going to be links to outside websites. So like this one is a website. This one links to the GC Match website. So the cool thing about this guide is it contains a bunch, of, a bunch of checklists to help you stay organized. Let's say you are hoping to get in in 2023 or somebody who's currently applying. That's how I would fill that out. And you can kind of uh, keep track of all of the things you should be doing, generally speaking, when they're due um, to give yourself an idea of whether you're on track for this application cycle. Um, next, we have a list of all of the genetic counseling programs. So if you're just getting started and trying to research each of the different programs, this is going to give you an idea of what you should look at with each program. This has all of the programs listed by state alphabetically. So you can see Alabama is first, and then you can visit each program's website. So let's go to Alabama's website, and you can read about the program. Most genetic counseling program websites have similar information. They're going to include what the program is like, where it's located, what's required for admissions, and then maybe a spotlight on specific students. So you can visit, visit each of the websites to get an idea of that type of thing. Maybe you're a California hater like me and you're not interested in looking at any California programs. You can take some notes, um, like there's a app waiver. And then of note, there are some programs with an asterisk. Those are programs that offer a hybrid format and online courses. This page is dedicated to explaining the importance of certain prerequisites, GPA, majors, if you're taking, thinking about genetic counseling as a second career, the GRE. And then there's also this section here where you can track your grades for some of the required prerequisites. Um, then I go on to share information about GC exposure, advocacy and counseling, how to find good advocacy and counseling experiences, tips for your CV, tips for your personal statement, for requesting letters of recommendation and who to use for your letters of rec, and then some really nice free resources that I recommend. Finally, a few important frequently asked questions and then links to other video content. So hopefully this, hopefully this demo gives you a good idea of what you'll get if you buy this guide. If after watching this, you think that my guide might be a helpful tool for you, visit my website, katieleecgc.com, and you can purchase it there. And don't forget, if you'd like more free content on genetic counseling grad school and genetic counseling as a career, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care, guys. Bye.